maybe going away for the weekend. How are we looking out there right now? Well, if you're heading south or towards the coast of Georgia, you could run into a few storms for sure. But across our area, we are looking mostly dry on radar after uh, what was a soggy start for some locations north of I-20. But you can see where the active weather is uh, here along portions of Mississippi near Jackson. A lot of severe thunderstorm warnings there with the line of showers and storms moving through. They actually have a uh, observed tornado warning as well down in the panhandle of Florida. So uh, it's been a pretty active morning for locations outside of the CSR rate. Here, though, we're just seeing some cloud cover left over behind those showers and storms that tried to move through and you can really see that moving through the Augusta Columbia County area right now. Grovetown I-20 already though showing those skies starting to open up a bit more. It definitely was more of an overcast feel the last time we checked in here for Grovetown. 69 the current temperature from Bushfield Airport. Those winds out of the south at about three miles per hour. As far as current temperatures, we are seeing those in the upper 60s to near 70. So it's a mild start. We're talking about dew points also in the 60s close to 70. So it's a muggy start as well. And as we head towards your afternoon. Those clouds will continue to give way to some sunshine. We're talking about partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies for your Friday afternoon. H high temperatures getting close to 90 for just about everyone. So almost a seasonal day. And as we head through your Father's Day weekend, we are talking about a pretty seasonal outlook in terms of temperatures and the chance for maybe an isolated shower or storm for your Saturday. Heading into Sunday, those rainfall chances do begin to increase as we head towards your Sunday night. But looking ahead towards Friday, this model is picking up on uh, things that just aren't happening this morning. As we head towards your afternoon, though, uh, we do see those clouds begin to give way to some sunshine. And as we look ahead towards your Friday uh, afternoon and evening, the chance for a very isolated shower or storm will be in the forecast. I do want to mention that but it looks like most of us will stay nice and dry. Heading towards your Saturday, we could see a morning wave possibly of some showers maybe as we head towards the afternoon. Those rainfall chances do kind of hover around on the widely scattered side, but uh, we are tracking those partly cloudy skies to continue into your Saturday and not looking like a complete washout at all for any portion of your Father's Day weekend. As far as the severe outlook, we do uh, not have one for tomorrow, so that's good news, but the chance for a few non uh, severe general thunderstorms are in the forecast, so uh, the rain gear may be a decent idea to have that nearby for tomorrow heading into your Sunday as well. But Monday into Tuesday, that's when those rainfall chances really begin to increase for us. And the Weather Prediction Center has actually already put us under a slight risk for the majority of the region from Monday into Tuesday for some scattered flash flooding issues. And that risk does continue into Tuesday with rainfall chances also continuing into your Wednesday and Thursday. A quick tropical update. We do have an area that we are watching off the coast of Africa with about a 40% chance of development over the next seven days. So Brett, the next name on the hurricane storm name list. But Father's Day weekend, not looking too bad. Those temperatures right around 90.